Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakodash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom this world ignorantly calls God, the Holy One of Israel, right? And the, the God of Israel, by the way, the Holy One of the the Israelites, okay? Not not the people that are dwelling in land, the Israelites. He's the God of the Israelites. All right. Um the Holy One of Israel, double, uh, excuse me, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth, the 144,000 that are mentioned in the book of Revelations, the seventh chapter, uh, uh, doing this work in sincerity and truth, and as much as to the one-third and you innumerable multitude of you believers out there to you all. I say shalom and greetings. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit. All right. You know, I, just a quick thing before I get into my lesson, I realized with this going on, you know, Esau is still profiting from this. That Malachite is still profiting because now when you look up Israel, there is a point where, you know, you type in Israel or the Israelites and you would see a lot of headlines about the truth, you know, but now with all of this war going on, Israel this, Israel that, and our, it was seemingly on the internet, right, the glory of the Bible, seemingly, mind that word, seemingly, like they're trying to wash it under, like this is becoming less important, but the thing is, the scriptures are becoming more important, and that's why they're doing things like this, but this is also prophecy being fulfilled at the same time, right? But they, it says they shall make the name Israel be no more in remembrance. And that's literal, but it's also really talking about our nation of people and calling ourselves uh, Israelites because they literally don't want the name Israel to be no more in remembrance. They wouldn't have named that land in 1948. They wouldn't have uh, named it Israel, right? They named it that not out of respect well, because they wanted to steal it. They wanted to make it their own. You see, and so you got to understand what's going on through the spirit. Okay. But there's a, uh, the, I wanted to say the real reason why the Israelis and the Palestinians are at war. Okay. Now you have the Israelis and mind you, when you say ease, when you put an eye on the end of some Israelis, that means that you're an inhabitant of the land, right? When you say Israeli, that's an inhabitant of but when we say Israelites, which are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, when you say it on an end, it, it, it stands for that you are a descendant of the man Israel, right? So what are we talking about? Are we saying that we got one group of people who are saying they live in the land and they inhabit there, and you have another group of people who are claiming to be the natural-born descendants of that bloodline and that land rightfully belongs to them. And, you know, I'll be talking about my movies. Y'all seen enough movies? Where the, the guy who's vouching to be in his position, you know, and there's another, it's a usurper on the throne. There's another man who's not the rightful king, right? But he's sitting there on the throne acting like it's his. And that's what the uh, J-O-O's, right? The uh, Malachites, right? The small hats, that's what they're doing, right? The, cur the curly uh, side, the curly fry sideburns, that's what they're doing. They're, they're saying something is theirs when it's not. And even... Over the course of time, you know, somebody sent me a photo of uh, how much land the Palestinians had and compared to how much land they have now. And, and even Amalek has completely squandered that from them. But the biggest issue is that the land does not belong to either one of you. And that's why you have qualms like this. So that's why you're fighting so bad about it. You know, we've done, starting with the Apostles on Dial, there's been many lessons on it. But this is a... Uh, this is Isaiah 34 and 8. It says, For it is the day of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Right? So it's the time now where the, the controversy of Zion is what's going on. Like, whose land is that? Who does it belong to? Who are the who are the children of Israel? Right? But once you we know, we know that now, but y'all don't, right? You heathen don't. And you a lot of you heathen do, but you refuse to admit it. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, those are the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Those are the people that that land belongs to. But the Lord says it is 
the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. So for all of these problems that we've been having, it's the year of payback. You know, and right now he's making that all too real. Right? It says, And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. And this is talking about Babylon, America. But but it's been a controversy for us even over here. Right? They've been making us slaves, telling us who we are and what we should do. But at the end of the day, that's that's controversial too, because we're God's chosen. Lord willing, we be of his number, but the Israelites are still the most high's chosen. That's why majority of our people will be punished in the manner that they will. Right? I only got a few verses for this, by the way. But this is uh Joel three and one. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. And see, Judah is referring to the, the southern kingdom, the so-called blacks, the, the Haitians, the West Indians, uh, West Indian blacks, if you will. So uh, uh, Bahamas, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua, places like that. All right. And then you have uh, the, the Judites, the American, the uh, the so-called African-American, the black American here. That's in America, right? That's the southern kingdom. And then you got the northern kingdom of all the Hispanic and Indian tribes, right? You got the Brazilians, you got the, the Mexicans, you got the Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, you know, the Uruguayans, you know, the uh, Dominicans, you know, uh, the Guatemalans, Nicaraguans, the Chileans, Venezuelans. El Salvadorians, all of those people are the, the the Jerusalem, okay? So now we got these people. So how are those Judah and Jerusalem, but you got these other people over here in the land that's robbed, saying that they're the children of Judah, that they're the children of Israel, that they're the children of Levi, right? So there, somebody's wrong. Somebody's wrong when it comes down to it. Are we telling the truth or are they telling the truth? And all you got to do is look at the man that's been lying to you from the beginning, the so-called white nation, the Amalekites, the J-O-O's, you know, the J-E-W's. They're the ones that's been lying to you. Verse 2 says, I will, also, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. You see that? So the Lord said he's going to bring these gathered, he's going to gather these nations to fight and he's going to judge them. He said, the, for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So he's letting you know his people are Israel, not uh, those people who are dwelling over there in that land, the Israelites who were scattered abroad, right? He says, and for my heritage, Israel, which lets you know it's a people and not a land. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations. Those Israelis aren't scattered among the nations, Right? They live in their places and they got enough money and they go and travel different places, but they're not scattered. Our people are scattered through slavery, migrations, being sold, you know, through boat uh, uh, adventures, you know. Uh, the adventures ain't the word that I'm looking for. Um, there's another word that, that comes to mind, but it's, I'm losing it right now. Escapades, you know. It says, and parted my land. You see, and how did they part the land? That's what you're seeing going on right now between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Neither one of them are God's chosen. And that land does not belong to either one of them. And until they get that in their hands, which they never will, Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, is going to have to come back and show them that what they're doing is off according to the Bible. And they're going to be put to death. All those people are going to be put to death. It says, and they have cast lots for my people, right? For my people. That hasn't happened to the uh, Amalekite, the J-E-W's. It says, and I've given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. That, have, that happened to the so-called uh, African-Americans, so-called black, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. That hasn't happened to them, the Amalekites, right? The J-O-O's. It says, uh, yay, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon, right? Uh, these uh, so-called African nations. You know, a lot of these northern African, but it says, and all ye the coast of Palestine. So you're Palestinians, right? He says, what you got to do with me? Y'all saying that y'all got, y'all, God gave this land to y'all. That's a birthright that's reserved for the true Israelites. 
right? Now, Charlie, he said, what do you have to do with me, you coast of Palestine? Right? So all y'all over in Gaza, you know, the Palestinians, he like, what, your, what do you got to do with God? This ain't got, I don't got nothing to do with y'all. He says, I have, judged, I have not loved any family of the earth but the Israelites. It says, will you render me a recompense? Are you going to pay the Lord back for what you've done to our people and to our land? It says, and if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? You see, so the Lord says, if you do try to pay back, he's going to still judge you for what you've done. Even if you try to pay him back because they've done our people wrong, man. Right? This is um, Zechariah 9 and 5. It says, Ashkelon shall see it and fear. Gaza also shall see it. That's who, if they're not at war over in, in Gaza right now, blowing them places up. And Gaza, the irony, Gaza is getting blown up. But the word Gaza in the Hebrew is Izah, which means to be strong or fortified. All right? That's what that means. But that place is being uh, beaten to a pulp over there. It says, and be very sorrowful in Ekron for her. And Ashkelon is a, um, uh, a, a city that's uh, south of uh, Jerusalem. It says, for her expectation shall be ashamed and the king shall perish from Gaza and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. And see, ultimately, all the kings are going to perish, excuse me, from all of these lands. But hey, the king might get taken out. They, they, they so-called leader, they might take him out, man. And if so, you heard it here first. You know, and then obviously a lot of these are olden times, but these are future prophecies as well. And the next or present day prophecies. Let me say that like that. Right. But well, his name, the president over there, his name is um, Mahmoud Abbas. Right. Mahmoud Abbas. It says uh, he also known by the Kunya Abu Mazen. It says the president of the state of Palestine and the Palestinian National Authority. Right. Um, so they, that's his name, Mahmoud Abbas. So it says that the king shall perish from Gaza. So, you know, the Lord might take him out. And then how do I know this is a, these are focused on more present day? The next verse, it says, and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Right. So it says a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. And right now, a bastard, a mumzia, mumza, as they like to say, right, goyim. That's what's dwelling in Ashdod. And Ashdod is a uh, port city, a port city of, of uh, Jerusalem, of so-called Israel over there. You see? So it says a bastard is going to dwell there. So it didn't say a righteous people, the, the holy people, God's, sheep, God's people. Why would, why would the Heavenly Father say a bastard is going to dwell in and near the Holy Land? Why would he say that? Unless it was true. And that's what we're seeing with that, man. But, hey, I got it's articles here that says, and this is one day ago, CNBC, there is nowhere to hide from the bombs. Civilians trapped in Gaza can't escape Israel's siege. Right? It says, uh, Al Jazeera, Israel says 6,000 bombs dropped on Gaza as war with Ham Hamas nears a week. 6,000 bombs, hella people are dead. Hella people are, are losing their way. You know, and how about Shema al Shai is showing us that all these Bible verses are true, right? And so until we get our land back, you're going to see stuff like this, right? Uh, let me get let me get this real quick. Because we know, we know what's coming. We see, we see what's happening at the end. These countries are out here doing this fighting when it's really just been, it's helping the so-called elites, right? Trying to bring their new world order. Uh, but it, the scriptures talk about the least of the flock is going to draw them out. And who's the least of the flock? Amalek, man. All right. And as the scriptures, this is another thing. Let me let me get that. Uh, uh, let me get this first. This is Exodus 17 and 16. It says, uh, let me start at 14. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses, write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of of Amalek from under heaven. That's those people dwelling in the land of Israel. Now, they're not the true Israelites. Now, are there some Israelites over there? Sure. They're trying to kick them out of the land of Israel, right? But they, they the Lord said, you're going to put out their remembrance from under heaven. And that's what's going to happen ultimately when all the Edomites are taken out, the so-called white nation. It says, and Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi, right? Uh, it says, for he said, because... Uh, 
the Lord, Yahweh hath sworn that the Lord have, will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Right? And I, I believe that's Yahweh Nasha in the Hebrew. And that's the spirit. Brother just put up Nasha means to lift. Right? But it says, for he said, behold, because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So when that says the Lord is going to have war with it, I mean the Israelites are going to have war problems with the Amalek forever until Yahweh Shah comes back and put them to a to a stop. You see? But we're prophesying about these things, letting you know that these people are your enemy. Right? And they up to a lot of devious and manipulative and wicked, wicked things, man. And we... We the only ones truly paying attention to all these people, all of our people talking about, oh, help Israel, humanitarian for Israel, give to Israel. People don't know what they're talking about. How about you give to the true Israel, your people, right? But you got sellouts of our people like Amari Stoudemire, right? Uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather giving money and donations to helping them, but they can't help their own people, man. They just like the damn Esau American government. Government John 1844 says, you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you will do. And that's why they do that. They're going to give money to them. But Jake tell you he got problems. They turn the other ear, man. They don't want to hear it. This is Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. See, the end ain't yet yet. But it, it's, it's on the way, man. Yahweh Bashim al is showing us that we've been talking about World War III happening. We've been talking about missiles. We've been talking about uh, uh, the sea hip. We've been talking about Jacob's trouble. We've been talking about martial law. Hey, all of these things coming to pass, and these people are going to see, man, that the Lord is bringing his Bible, showing you that, that the truth stemmed from it. And now he's bringing his men forth to prophesy against these wicked nations, man, and to bring that thing to a fault. And Israel, that's going, that land is going to be returned to us, right? That land is going to be returned to the Israelites, and them Israelis going to get kicked out of there, man. So I ain't want to make this too long. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.